Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to your Reiki perspective session. It's a little bit of salt crystal for grounding. So take a moment and just consider or decide what you would like to get out of this session. Of course, I know some of you have a lot on your plate and you don't have to choose. You can just simply relax and allow me to do all of the work. The Reiki is a very intelligent energy, energy pardon me, and it knows exactly where to go where it's needed. So you can choose or you can just simply allow or choose and allow. <laughs> so go ahead, set your intention and let's release that into the cosmos. Your desires have been heard. So I'm really excited to do this session. I had some of you had been requesting more sessions like this and I had put them off for a while because it was really hard on my back but I finally found a table high enough to raise this to where I can stand uh, almost straight and also I've gotten a recent question from several new subscribers um, they've asked me about who or what this is on the table. <laughs> this is actually something that I put together. Uh, I'm actually, I've been looking for um, a, a dummy, but this is my own clothes underneath here. I put together my jeans, my shirt, my shoes, because I wanted it to be a more realistic session for you since it is, you know, from your perspective. And uh, no, there's never anyone, there's no live humans under this. It's always the same thing. And so hopefully this is just easier for you to relax and imagine um, yourself on my table. So as always, I like to start with some grounding crystals, just placing some stones. So I'm going to be using these two halite palm stones. I'm going to be placing them on the tops of your hands, using them mostly just for the metaphysical property of calm and peace, but also it will help ground and balance you out emotionally if you need some help in that area. So just putting these gently on your hands. <clears throat> and for your grounding stone, I'm using Aragonite Crystal Cluster. I really love this little guy. I just think it's so beautiful the way it sparkles. And it actually reminds me of coral. It looks like something you would pull from the ocean. So I will place this under your feet for more stability. For your root chakra, I am using Larvakite. For your sacral, Peach Calcite. For your solar plexus, this beautiful piece of calcite. Um, oh, I've actually just slipped my mind what kind it is, but I will add that when I'm editing. So placing this in the solar plexus area. And for the heart, rose quartz. For the throat, 
blue calcite for the third eye snakeskin jasper very powerful for that third eye it actually looks a bit like a snake eye and lastly for your crown chakra we'll be using this clear quartz I'm using my Pythagorean tuning forks to do a little light aura work. Combing through your luminous network. Reiki is flowing to you now through time and space, all dimensions, realities, and timelines, past, present, and future. For divine alignment and the highest good and well being of all. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. Right away, I'm feeling some issues in the solar plexus area. So I'm just going to spend a few minutes there. Gently placing my hands on your shoulders. Working down the arms to the hands. Feeling a bit of blockage in the feet area, which is kind of unusual.
Releasing any restrictions, anything that feels confined and immovable. Also, I'm feeling some of you need some work in the knees area. So just taking a second to work on your knees. Now just working up the center column of light, making show, sure that this free flowing energy releasing out of the feet and also around the crown of your head. Placing my other hand over your throat, strengthening, releasing, stimulating. Also going past the throat into the back of the neck area. Just really loosening up. Compacted energy, pulling that out. Feeling the movement from the throat out the top of the head. And I'm just going to work on the foundation a little bit here. So important to be grounded feel stable and adequate. No restrictions here. You're safe. You're loved. You're protected. You're grounded. And just pushing those energies and frequencies of stability and safety all the way up through all of the chakras, connecting and balancing all of them together. some symbols, symbols if there's any pain or discomfort in the body, Zonar is going to help with that. Udrika, feeling, if you feel that you need some protection, you have Udrika and Shokure, power and protection. Own symbol, strengthening, feeling supported. Om, om, om. Raccoon for extra grounding. in any knowledge required for anything that you're trying to achieve or learn about. Shani kya ta ishkata, huta e, 
Shana Hati. Also working with my Sakura agate to help bring more joy, happiness, and love. You are loved, you are lovable. You can easily give and receive love with little effort. I'm feeling the presence of our ancestor healers with us today. Very ancient souls. Using my amethyst coral, I'm going to do a little bit of work on the third eye and the crown, helping you to be more receptive to your psychic abilities, all of your clairs, and also helping you to feel more connected to the divine cosmos. Allowing yourself to be more open and to easily work with your divine guidance and intuitive prompts. Hashana titi in the atai, Ushkoto hutu i awata. Hashana tai, Eniha a, Hunkokuiwa, and Tianaha aata, Ekitai. You are feeling lighter and better than before. 
You're feeling absolute peace. You're feeling content. You're feeling grounded. You're feeling love and joy in your heart. Powerful healing of eternal love is with you now and always. Divine consciousness fills your every cell. You are whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. You are pure, clear, and balanced. I'm feeling really in flow with the session today. I'm just guided so easily to all the things I needed to use and actually different combinations and more things that I normally use. So I hope this was enjoyable and healing for you as well. I'm going to anoint your chakras with this sweet rain essential oil. Ugh. It smells like spring, very florally, uplifting. And I'm just going to go ahead and do some aura fluffing as well with that. Smell those beautiful spring flowers. Winter's almost over. It's like a hint of spring already in the air. It's starting to warm up. Just expanding that beautiful aura. Strengthening. So I'm going to close out our session with a sacred geometry activation. I was actually planning on pulling just one, but three of them popped out. So the first activation, which I will show you closer in just a second, is magic number 31. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment to move toward possibilities and expressions that are that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestation. And here's the activation. And the next card is Delight, number 19. The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we invoke in others. Activation. Oops. I'm having a difficult time seeing the camera. Hoping that is centered. And the last card, which very interesting, solar plexus, because if you remember at the beginning of our session, I think that is right where I was guided to go. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, 
our personal power and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. So some of you apparently still need a little bit more solar plexus work. Here's your activation, and let me just add some light language. There you go. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the session and were able to receive all the benefits. I know you did get what you needed. You may or may not be aware of it, but you did. Thank you for your continued love and support. I truly and deeply appreciate you so much. And until my next video, highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Sadnam.